everybody, going Fishing 804 back at you again today with another review. Today, I'm going to review this right here. It is the GoPro external mic adapter for the Hero 5 Black. You got to get this if you want to use a mic. You better get this if you're planning on recording any audio on the GoPro Hero 5. They make other C-type adapters, but... They don't even work with the GoPro. This is the only way that I know of right here, this official GoPro product to get a microphone to work with the GoPro Hero 5. If you don't have that, you probably won't be able to record. So don't even waste your time with the cheap ones, like three to five dollar ones. I didn't already spend a little bit of money on those trying to get those to work with the GoPro. No dice. Don't do it. But um, you have to get that. And I chose... For my microphone, this is supposed to be an on-camera mic, but I'm going to show you how, how I rig this up so it would work perfectly for me. It's gonna, it's my personal setup anyway, the way I set it up. Just got this in, the Rode Video Micro. Um, had a chance to test it out the other day. I'll be showing you guys that a little bit later in the review. Um, but yeah, this thing is supposed to be the best on-camera microphone for vlog for vlogging. Can't talk today. This is supposed to be the best mic on-camera microphone for vlogging and um, stuff like that, I guess. But I use it when I'm out there fishing so that I can record all my audio and have some type of clarity with it. As you know, the GoPro comes with two microphone ports, but <clears throat> they give you this case right here, this skeleton case. And when you put it on the, on the GoPro, so you take your GoPro, you put it on there, okay, close it up. The microphone port is here and there, and they're covered up, so your audio sucks. And, you know, as far as wind noise and all of that stuff, that's going in there too. If you bump the GoPro while you're filming or recording or you setting the hook, if you bump it, that's going in there too, so... You won't have any real clear audio coming through that microphone, especially since it's covered up. So, I mean, it really sucks. So that's why I went ahead and chose to get this video micro. It's fairly inexpensive and it's supposed to be one of the best ones out there. Um, I could have chose a lapel mic, but I just felt like that would be the, the choice to go to. I just felt like that would be the one that I would go with just I mean, it just spoke to me. So, let's go ahead and open this up. If I can get this open. Alright, so boom. Get this out of here. So, this is what your cable's going to look like. That's the adapter. They had to make it like the size of a Tic Tac box. To plug into the GoPro. This thing is almost the size. The width. The width of the GoPro itself. So this is really bulky. I wish they would have made this adapter piece. Somehow a little bit smaller. I mean it's just. A large piece to put into the GoPro. So how you attach that is. You got to take your. Uh, your skeleton case off. Now, once you take this off, your GoPro is can go, supposedly, it can go up to 30 feet of water and still be waterproof. I haven't tested it out yet. It's a $400 camera. I don't know if I trust that. So, I haven't put mine in any type of water thus far. So, you get this little door and you pop this open. Well, you try to pop it open. That's one thing I hate about this, too, is... Trying to get this little door open, man. It gives me so much trouble. Bam. You open that up. And then you just pop that off. And there's your access port. And you're going to plug it into the charging. It will not fit in the HDMI. It is a C-type connection. So you have to connect it in the C-type port. Find a way to plug that thing in any other way. It's, it's only going to work one way, okay? If you mess that up, then you probably just don't even know, need a GoPro. But um, 
All right, anyway, you're going to plug it into your, into your port right there. Now you got a big bulky square hanging off your GoPro, which I wish they would have made a little bit smaller, but I don't know why it has to be so big. So, Rode Video Micro. You open this up, and it comes with your dead cat right here. This is a windscreen. I primarily chose it because it has this big old windscreen. And uh, on a few of my videos, if you've seen them before, all that wind noise in there, I just couldn't watch um, a lot of, uh, of the video. I couldn't even keep none of the audio just because of the wind noise that was in there. So on really windy days, this will definitely come in handy. Um, just because I, I don't like all that wind noise. It, it's too loud. It just messes my ears up my so and it also takes away from the quality of the video you know what i mean i know a lot of people probably don't want to hear that wind noise coming through as they see me fishing so that's one reason i chose that then you got the microphone itself and it comes with a stretchable 3.5 millimeter jack you take that Plug it in the bottom of your mic. Then you plug that in, this end, in the here, and you're good to go. Now this is this is your setup that you have. Which ain't bad. I don't mind it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I have mine set up and the way that it works for me. You may have a personal preference that that is not the same as mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up the way I like to set it up and let you guys see that. Then I'm gonna um then I'm gonna get in the car. We're gonna go test this thing out and see what it do. If it's do what it does, you know what I'm saying? Go turn up a little bit, see if I can snag a couple fish or something. Alright, so the first thing I do is of course take my chest mount. Take the GoPro, put that in like that. Attach it like so. Screw that in. Man, you got your GoPro mounted up. I like to take this, like take this around the front and just slide it in between that screw, in between this screw and the clasp for my um for my strap so that it sits down in there i really prefer it not to hang down like this because there's a chance that you know this could you know pop out and you know, you don't want to lose your mic so so i take that thing wrap it around here like this bam good money she kind of sturdy so then i take this gopro and all these is all of this stuff that I'm using right now, this little accessory pack has has this stuff in there. So I just like ghetto rig some stuff together, you know what I'm saying? And made it work. If I can find it. Okay. So this is the other part that I use with the microphone to put that on to my chest mount strap. So I got this tightened back on up. It's like this. Now I take this it on the side here slide that through there and uh, tighten it on up and there is my setup that's what it looks like when it's done if you ask me I think it's pretty innovative it may not be the, the way you would like it yours to work but this is what works best for me. You can also take this dead cat and on those windy days, like I said, it has a little a little groove around here, right in there. The same on the inside and this plastic, this little rubber piece, and you just slide that on. And bam. That's what my GoPro setup is. You guys let me know if you got a microphone hooked up to your GoPro, how you hook your mic up, but that's what I rock with. All this stuff I've shown y'all, I will leave a link for it 
down in the description. So if you guys have any questions about anything I've shown you today, just go ahead and leave me a comment, send me a message, or you can email me at gonefishing804 at gmail.com. And I'll try to answer all your questions as soon as I can. And um, let's go ahead and get in this car, man. Try this microphone out. See how it does. I'll see y'all in a minute. The car, I got the GoPro hooked up to no microphone. So right now I'm talking to you with no microphone on at all. No outside noise or anything. This is just the GoPro's mic by itself. It is out of the skeleton case right now. But I'm going to put it back in the skeleton case so you can hear the difference with that on. All right, so now I have the skeleton case on the GoPro. And this is the sound quality that it puts out. Just the GoPro by itself. I'm going to plug the Rode Vimeo video mic in to the GoPro and then we're going to see how it sounds with the microphone plugged in without the dead cat on it. I've got the microphone plugged into the GoPro without the dead cat on. So it's just the microphone by itself. Excuse my little setup, my little rig, but this is the microphone by itself without the dead cat on it with no noise it's quiet now so hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference with just the microphone and no noise in a few seconds here i'm gonna start the car and drive down the street give you the gopro with no microphone and then i'm gonna give you the gopro with microphone and with the dead cat on all right now now i'm in the whip i'm ready to pull on off real quick and show you guys the difference with the GoPro mic, uh, I'll show you guys the difference of the GoPro mic by itself with the window down. So I'm gonna roll this window down and uh, get up to like 20 miles an hour and see if, if this, uh, how this sounds with, with all my car noise in there too. So this is just a GoPro mic by itself. This is all GoPro. Wow, that's bright. Even with the glasses on, I can't even see. Dang. All right, there we go. Man, that was bright. Blinded me with the glasses on. That's crazy. But uh, I'm doing uh, 30 miles an hour. So this would be, I guess, equivalent to like 30 mile an hour winds almost with just the GoPro mic by itself. All GoPro mic right here. All right. So I'm going to stop right here, then I'm going to plug this Rode microphone in. All right, I'm plugged the mic in now, getting ready to get back up to 30 miles an hour, see if that makes any difference in the sound quality. You know, I basically got this for those windy days, because those days that I do videos on windy days, the audio, man, it, it's so hard for me to keep any of the audio. I like literally have to play music in the background for the entire video because that wind noise just, it, it degrades the quality of the video. So went ahead and made me a good purchase, I think. All right, so I made it over here to this little spillway. I'm sure you can hear that water rolling in the background. Um, right now I'm using the sound from the GoPro. No mic hooked up to it right now. So, in a second here, I'm going to see what it sounds like. Got something on it. A little bluegill was knocking on his door. I mean, packing at it hard. Bluegill hit funny. Like they peck at it. Bop, bop, bop. Just bumped it like three times real quick. Got one. On the popper, baby. 
on the popper, dog. Stay down. Oh, yeah. Little dinkster. Little dink. When he came up and got that popper like it was nobody's business. Hey, whoa, hold on, little buddy. Hey, man. Oh, get on out of there. Good night. Sweet. Well, doing a review and got a little, a fat little, kind of fat, fat little quarter of a pound bass. Nice. Another one is on. Another fish on, on the popper. You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Number two. You need to tell your mama come holler at me, bruh. Fish number two, getting a little bit bigger. They ain't growing a little bit. Got some blood. Well guys, it's getting a little dark. Caught a couple so far, but I don't know how, how much longer I'm gonna be out here and how, how much longer this thing is gonna record so you can see it. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say it now. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to leave a description down in the description. I'm going to leave a link for the GoPro Hero 5, the Rode Video Micro, and everything else that I used making this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to all my supporters, uh, my subscribers, my fans. I love y'all. You know, thanks for helping my channel grow. And um, until next time, keep your lines wet because it's all about the hook set.